in the show, or is the story happening in life? The story involving the goose. Yes. No, that's true. That's what happened. That's a, that's a real story. I mean, that was, again, that was like, you know, and again, it's a, I, I may talk about, I mean, I do a lot of work with conservation and animals and wildlife conservation. And sometimes, you know, you, you, you try to do a good thing and, and it backfires. You know, it's like a, it was like a, you know, a, the best intentions and they backfire on your lives. We were coming back from a dinner, my wife and I, in, in London. And it was very late at night, like two, three o'clock in the morning. We were driving down the mall in front of Buckingham Palace. And we saw an animal in distress, clearly in distress, at the side of the road. And it was a, a goose. And there's quite a lot of animals around, a lot of geese around there. And it was sort of flapping on the, on the road, like clearly a bit in, in distress. So we stopped um, and got out of the car. And, and, and so and then my wife was saying, Let's, we must save it. We know, we've got to try and save it. And I was a little bit, I was like, you know, half two, come on. I mean, there's no one around. You know, maybe just... <laughs> Valentine's night. And I'm thinking, you know, what did you do Valentine's night? Oh, I reversed over a goose. Yeah. <laughs> it was a magical night. So, so, so one, we had a blanket in the back of the car, and I wrapped the goose in the blanket, and we put the goose up and put it in the back of the car, and I was just about to close the, the boot, and a gun was held to my head, a cocked pistol was held to my head. Uh, stop, what are you doing? And it was a, a bunch of plain clothes, like the Royal Protection Officers, and they're all kind of skulking around in the bushes, I guess, you know, <laughs> waiting for some goose-based nonsense to happen, you know, goose malfeasance. And uh, he said, what are you doing? And, uh, and I went, oh, uh, a, a, go a goose. And, <laughs> and I suffered a bit of asthma, and I had an asthma attack, and I started wheezing. <laughs> Word. <laughs> what? And then he goes, all right, and the other fella, there was two of them, and the guy had a, had a pistol, and the goose was under the blanket, so he couldn't see what it was. So then the goose's head appeared. And the other guy pointed a gun at it. What the fuck are you going to do? That's a weird terrorist goose. Uh, and the guy goes, all right, you can show me, show me. Easy, easy. <laughs> So I revealed the goose, and clearly it was a goose. The goose came up like this to face the gun. And so it was a weird sort of standoff. Like and, then, uh, and then we just sort of stood there, like, really, like... How did this happen? You know, that was outrageous. And eventually the first guy did that thing with the, the, you know, the radio. He went, stand down, just a goose. <laughs> Was, you know what I mean? They're like snipers trained like a red dot on me. No, it's a goose, it's a goose. Stand down, stand down. <laughs> and I, I was asked, uh, music is 